Hey there, coming to you with ha, new makeup on. My hair is like not done. Kind of a train wreck I did throw my jewelry on, but I wanted to show you. Yesterday I took my kids on a field trip and we went to an amusement park. It's all day thing. Like most of you know that I have really, really naturally red skin. Um, a lot of our products have helped this, but this is like my skin. This isn't sunburn. I just want to be really clear because my forehead, as you can see, no burn. But I got super, super burnt at the field trip. And I just think it's a real shout out to my um, foundation because our products have what's called a mechanical shield. Can't call it an SPF because those chemicals are not in our products. So it's kind of the gig. Um, so I'm gonna talk to you a lot today about my foundation because I'm very, very impressed with it. I use the color Fawn, I'm gonna be kind of back and forth because my makeup is all next to me and I'm I'm gonna do it today and show you kind of my makeup face and how I get from this to what you normally see. It's kind of gonna be fun. So, um, any who's, I wear Fawn, like I said. I use our Advanced Anti-Aging anti Foundation and I do that because I really like the way it feels on my skin and I do that because it has a cellular rejuvenation system that helps to rejuvenate your cells up to 23% faster. So I'm gonna talk a lot about, about things people generally don't like about themselves. We do sell a, um, a concealer, but I don't generally find that I need it. Especially if I very careful with my foundation. I like to let it sit a few seconds before I start to really like rub her in. This is fun. Fun with makeup. And here we go with some more. I always do like little dots instead of like a whole glob that I have to work with. Plus, I feel like I don't use as much when I do that. But my redness. Oh, my nose is always super red. I know that this will drive some people crazy. You'll be like, oh, you're not supposed to put foundation on with your fingers. Oils from your hands. Yada, yada, yada. I know. And honestly, normally I do use a brush, but I have <laughs> misplaced it. Don't I sound like a genius? So I've misplaced my makeup brush. There. Now you know my secret. So I usually use my brush to kind of get this all on. I'm going to let some more under my eyes just because I have it on my fingers. Corners. Okay, you know, like that's because it's really sloppy. It's all smudgy and it looks like junk. That's because I'm not done yet. Because then over this layer, I like to do a thin layer of this, which is called pearlizer. Pearlizer. And pearlizer, you're going to see in a second. Actually, most times I just mix them together and do one foul swoop. But I wanted to show you what pearlizer does. It just gives you like a really, it's hard to see in this light, but like a really pretty glow. It just makes you feel a little bit more fancy in your day. And I like that it gives me like a little bit of extra color without, like when I think of pearl, I think of shine. This doesn't really make me look shiny. It just gives me like little glow of fun. So now I am going to take my brush and just kind of work my foundation in. Even it out. We had so much fun on that field trip yesterday, you guys. Like, the best time. And then poof, suddenly, I look like a human again. Just kidding, I looked like a human before. I don't wanna be negative, but 
I just really love the way that this covers up my redness. It fixes my under eye issues. Like that was not hard. That was not a lot of steps. And I'm definitely feeling good about the coverage, right? So like you saw, you know what I look like originally now. And this really helps. It helps me a ton. So I'm actually, see like I can, I'm hyper, we're all hypercritical of ourselves, right? So I see still a little redness. So I'm just going to do a little more layering of my fawn. I was like spot on my nose, that's why it's red. A little more on my cheekers. A little more layering of my foundation. I feel like a lot of women, you have the same issues that I have where it's my under eye and redness in my cheeks. But you can see, bam, takes care of it so, so quick. And I do not, like, I do not spend a lot of time on my makeup. The only reason this is taking long, like I'd be done by now, but this is taking a while because I'm chatting about it. So I'm also going to talk about my shadow senses. These are the two that I use literally every single day. This is Sandstone Pearl Shimmer, which is like a pretty like golden color. And this is Mocha Java Shimmer, which is like a little bit deeper. A lot of people use these for contouring and highlighting and all that stuff. Like. It's Saturday, I'm going to the movies with my kids. I'm going to church, I'm going to a church picnic after. I'm not, I'm not gonna contour and highlight and do all that fun stuff. I get, I get you can, and that's really fun. So there's two ways you can use the shadow sense on your eyes. I'm going to do one eye at a time so you can kind of see the two different ways. Some people, again, totally by preference, use the like actual wand portion. You don't need a lot of product. You can see you're just like a little bit on there. In fact, I could probably smudge some of that off. But anyway, I like my light color all over my eye. There she blows. I like a lot of light color in my corners. I'm gonna do a little under my under eye. So like that little swoopy part. It's a technical term. You don't need to worry about that. And then I take my brush. I am using a blending brush for this purpose. And I am just smoothing it all out. Now, if you want it to be a little brighter, here's the good news. Our colors are totally buildable. So you just grab a little bit more on your brush. Let it dry for a few seconds. And add a little more color. Take your brush, blend it in. And you can see, they definitely get brighter. Blend a little bit off. And already you can kind of see the difference. It's a lot brighter, a lot happier looking. And then I, for my everyday makeup, don't like, like a deep color in my crease. And that's why I love the Mocha Java, Mocha Java <laughs> Shimmer because it doesn't give me like a crazy amount of color, but it's just a little bit of a, I mean, you can see already. It's just a little bit of a fun change. Normally I switch brushes for this purpose, but I goofed. Don't tell the makeup people. I'm gonna end up on one of those like awful makeup video tutorial vlogs. So that's that, easy cheesy. I'm going to show you the other way now that some people love to use our shadow senses. They don't like using the wands, I get that. So they will just take their favorite shadow brushes and get a little on. Some people feel like they have more control this way. Don't you notice I'm not like pulling, pulling on my eyebrows. This is just on my eyelid. This is just like a bad habit. My mom used to be like a super like pull it way tight person. And um, 
I mean, she knew that it was a bad habit too, but I think once you get into that habit, it's really, really hard to get out of that habit. And uh, definitely causes those like cute side wrinkles. Maybe you're into that, I don't know. But try hard not to do it. So there she is, the little one in this corner. So there's the two ways you can do it. Comes out pretty much the same. And I made, Here's the brush I was looking for. I don't use the same brush company for everything. I was, before I started um, selling Cinegen's products, I was a huge um, Ipsy girl. Like I loved, like my favorite day of the week was when the Ipsy bag would come in. And so I have all of these like hodgepodgey brushes, but they all work, they're all great. Senegens does sell brushes if you're interested, but I don't ever see a need for them because I have so many brushes. I've never tried them. I'm sure they're wonderful. Lots of people really love them. I'm trying to like even out while I chat. Lots of people really love them. I've just never tried them before. I'm sure I will eventually. They also have a great brush cleaner if that is something that you need because I know I'm not great at keeping my brushes as clean as I know I should. Speaking of, this is like my everyday brush. If you don't have an angle brush in your in your life, then you need to find one immediately because I use this all the time and I use it for my next product, which I'm gonna talk about, and that is Onyx. And you're like, oh, black, great choice with brown and gold. But I use my Onyx, as do many, 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 many women, for my liner and I do it because all of our so like once this is all set usually takes about a minute or so to set on your face it's just like the rest of our makeup it is sweat proof it's waterproof like it's not gonna run off your face you guys saw yesterday I literally went to an amusement park all day long if you didn't catch it on my Facebook page go check out the group page because I went to an amusement park all day long with my students and my personal kids and I came back and my face looked I mean I went to an amusement park. It, it wasn't cute. Like I was obvious <laughs> there was a little wear, but um, for the most part, my foundation was exactly the same. My eye makeup was the same. So it was all good. Like even my waterproof mascara from Senegence held up perfectly. So I was very impressed. My eyeliner was still there after water rides. Like that's, I don't think ever happened to me before. So I'm sorry, I should be showing. So. <laughs> I just you know, do, 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 get a little bit of product on my brush and then, okay, I'm going to use the camera as my mirror. So we'll see if this turns out or not. Um, I go from the end and I just start swooping it in. Swoopy swoopy. And it makes a nice even line if you are lucky like me and you have a good steady hand. The end. And because I like it to go on pretty dark, I will just a little bit again. Maybe too much. Gone too far. Knock something over. <laughs> again. I love using the cream to powder finish because it goes on super easily. And if you goof up a little bit, it's okay. It doesn't set immediately. You have a little wiggle room. And I always can go for a little extra makeup wiggle room. 
up the ante on this side. Pretty even. Yay me. Go team. So, I'm going to just let this back in here. And then we're going to talk a little bit today about the difference of lip glosses. Because I grabbed, I was digging through an old purse the other day looking for something, and I found my old favorite lip gloss. I was like, ah. Oh, I used to love you so much, and now you make me want to vomit because you were so, so bad. Like you didn't stay on, you didn't do what you were supposed to do, you left me hanging. But now I have lip sense. Anyway, um, before I do that though, I have my really well used blender brush. I am just gonna pop a little light color of our blush scents on my cheeks. I like this shade because it's not pinky pinky it's like a lighter pink and it doesn't give me like it doesn't pull my redness back out and so this color if you are interested is pouty pink it's upside down there it is pouty pink and it comes in a little container like this comes out in a little long planter like that I just pop it on my blender brush and it's just give me a little extra little color back in my cheeks not all of my color back in my cheeks. Um, I also have the same type if you want something a little darker. This is chocolate cherry. So it's a darker blush. Super pretty on. I'd mentioned that I have the concealers. This is the natural concealer, which is great for under eyes. I just didn't feel like I needed it today. And I, we also have a white concealer. And some people really love to use a white concealer underneath their eyes and under blemishes before they do their foundation. I have that in stock also. So that is, those are I think all the little gems in my makeup bag that I wanted to talk to you about. So I also, hmm, I wanna show you the mascara before we go to lip scents too. But, hmm, here it is, looks like I lost it. I usually use the black but I wanted to try our brown because somebody told me that the brown with my coloring would be cute. So I was like, well, who am I to argue with me being cute? Kidding. So here's my black mascara and it goes on just like every other mascara you've ever had. The only nice part about this is like when they say it's waterproof, they're not kidding. This is so, so waterproof that like you have to use an oil-based makeup remover to get it off, which I also sell. It's called Foops Remover. And if you've not seen the video of Catherine taking off her dance makeup, she is wearing a full Cynogen's face for dance. And she, in one quick swipe, gets her eye makeup completely off, like from clean to, or from, full makeup to clean in one swipe with hoops remover. It is the best. So if you're looking for a good makeup remover, I know a guy, it's me. And you can see it's very, very clean, not clumpy. Hopefully you can see, but not clumpy at all. It goes on super easy and it really, I feel like it's helped my lashes to get stronger because it doesn't dry them out. My lashes feel like very healthy and moisturized when I wear it. So here it is. I know there's like a special way I'm supposed to look like down and away to get the best view of my eye makeup. But I don't know, I'm just me. I don't really buy into the whole like this angle to sell better makeup, blah, blah, blah. The camera just went out of focus. I fixed it. Sorry, it's all my down and away angles. Screw this up. So back to my buxom. Where did I leave it? I found it. This video is not going well. I am normally like way better prepared. So this is my, or was my go-to favorite. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, this color is called Lover. And 
I'm gonna just, I've watched a lot of tutorials where girls are like, look at how much better Senegence is than this color, blah, blah, blah. And they always put on the lip sense first and then they put on the other one and then they immediately smudge. And then I've seen people go, well, Gabby, you didn't give the other one a chance to try, blah, blah, blah. So you know what I'm gonna do for you, Buxom, because you did me well. At least I thought you were doing well until I met Senegence and then we broke up. I'm gonna let Buxom go first. So I'm gonna do half Buxom, half Senegence. So I'm gonna give it the same amount of dry time, same opportunities. We'll see how it goes. So here you go. I ain't gonna let it dry. I'm gonna do a cleaner line here. All right, box them side. Check. You know what? We'll even do box them one more. We will let you have two layers. There she is. Then I'm going to take my lip sense color. Today's color of the day is when I'm done with this going to be you ready for the reveal. It's gonna be apple cider. So I'm gonna put that on half my lips. I thought about doing something that matched my buxom, but I think a little comparison will do us good. So like I've said before, you gotta really like shake, shake, shake your lip sense. Shake, 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 shake. And three light coats is the way we apply our lip sense. So I'm really, really, really wiping off any extra. There you go. I'm gonna let it dry. That's the story. And do it again. Dry, dry, dry. Ha ha ha. And. My turn. You can hear our kids. They're excited. They're going to go to the movies in a little bit. If you understood that. <laughs> try, try, try. That's ridiculous. But I like it. Glossy gloss. Now, pardon me, pardon my reach. I like my shiny background. Got my, this is like one of the big tests, right? We've all had ample time to try. Everybody should be happy, right? This is what would be on my coffee cup or on my wine glass or anywhere else in the world. But, oh, lip sense. Hmm, buxom. Which I love. I loved it. It was like my favorite thing in the whole world for so, so long. And now I feel like it's just betrayed me. Like, no, schmear. Schmear all over my face. Schmear. No, schmear. Do you see? Do you see? <laughs> That's amazing. And I don't care who you are. That's 
I have to go wash my face and start over again now, I guess, because that was a bad choice. But um, I hope you guys see, like, these products are fantastic. I hope that my little makeup tutorial um, helped you see how I use them better. And I had fun. Hope you had fun. Thanks for watching. And love ya. Let me know if you need anything. Bye.